Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Kat. Um, today we are starting, well, it's actually considered a three-day, but it's really just a two-day. It just gets back tomorrow night at 12.15 in the morning, so that's why it's considered a three-day. But anyways, if you've missed my last videos, the last time, my last trip, we went to London. Before that, we went to Medellin, Colombia. Before that, we went to Mexico City. But you know, life is all about balance, right? You can't just be going to these beautiful international destinations all the time without a little balance. So today, life is balancing us out, and we are going to be working at two flights. We are going from Dallas to Charlotte, then Charlotte to good old Tulsa, Oklahoma. <laughs> you guys, I feel like you can't say Tulsa without saying like that. Southern Tulsa. We're going to Tulsa. Never actually like worked a work trip to Tulsa. I know it's surprising to some of you. It's very, very shocking, but Tulsa is not my first choice. Um, but we are going to have an 18 hour layover. So I'm excited. I'm kind of excited to see like what's around, what's to do. And also I'm going to be working position three. So position three works the main cabin. I'll be doing main cabin service, but I also assist the lead flight attendant doing first class service so I will be up front for boarding doing all that so it should be a good one I like position three so I'm really not mad about it but anyways we have to go get signed in and get through security so I'm gonna go ahead and get my stuff out and then once we get inside we got a skylink over to terminal C I don't know exactly where the gate is but we'll figure it out when we figure it out so let's get our stuff out and go inside we go bottoms up we go all the way when you're feeling down push the pain So I just wanted to jump in here as I'm checking my equipment and getting everything ready to fly that I go ahead and take this time to thank today's sponsor. So today's video is being sponsored by Upside. Upside is a completely free app that gives you real cash back on things like gas, groceries, and at restaurants. And the Upside app is so easy to use. Literally, if I can do it, anybody can do it. So all you have to do is find an offer, whether that's at a gas station, a restaurant, or like a grocery store near you, then you pay with a debit or credit card, and then you get real cash back. No rewards, no points, real cash back. And you can cash out at your bank, at PayPal, or on a gift card. So like I said earlier, I am new to the Upside app family, but they have really just been in my corner because I'm a small girl. I know I know many of you guys have laughed, especially when y'all see my truck, because I'm only five foot, but I drive a big old truck. I drive a Ford F-150 Lariat. I love it. I'm from Texas. Like we love our trucks. We love our big toys, but that thing is a gas guzzler. And I don't know if y'all have seen these gas prices lately, but they are hurting my wallet. So having somebody like Upside in my corner has been amazing. And in comparison with credit card rewards or loyalty programs, you can earn up to three times more cash back on the Upside app. And Upside app users are earning more than a million dollars cash back every week, which is probably why the Upside app has a 4.8 star rating in the App Store. So to get started today, all you have to do is download the Upside app on the App Store or Google Play and use my promo code Nesbit. And Nesbit does have two T's in it. And there you'll get up to $5 or more cash back when you make your first purchase of $10 or more. So once again, thank you to Upside for sponsoring today's video and let's get back into it. So I just got on the plane right now. We're still waiting on the cleaners to come on board and catering to come on board. I'm gonna check my equipment, get everything set up and I will see you guys either in Charlotte, I don't know if we have a sit time or not, or in Tulsa. We go bottoms up. So we just landed in Charlotte and we went over to Starbucks. We're on a two hour sit, but you guys, I have to show you this cause it's so cute. A passenger gave us a little goodie bag. I'm literally like munching away on Sour Batch Kids right now, but isn't this cute? <laughs> so we are sitting just a little bit longer and then we are finally gonna take off from Charlotte to Tulsa and then have to find somewhere for dinner tonight. But I am excited, I'm hungry and I'm ready to go. <laughs> Welcome to 
Tulsa, Oklahoma, you guys, we have to talk. We have to talk. You remember that beautiful 18 hour layover? It's now less than 16. <laughs> we had a maintenance delay and it was something with like the air conditioning. It caused like clogged a duck, ended up flooding stuff. I don't know. This is probably wrong. I don't know all the, all like the details of it, but this is basically what happened. We couldn't take the plane. So we had to get a new plane and it came in from international. So it had to be cleaned and sweeped and all that. So that took forever, but we're finally here. <laughs> We are finally here right now. It is 1042 and I am starving. I have only had like my one little factor meal and then that little cake that I brought from London. That's like it. So I'm so hungry. I ordered food on the way over here. Wasn't much to choose from. So beggars can't be choosers. We had to make it just work. But I'm gonna show you this room because I'm actually impressed. Like Tulsa, y'all brought it. So excuse all my luggage, but when you open the door, we have this cute little coffee bar. We have the closet over here. I'll put my stuff away in a minute. And then we have the bathroom, nice big mirror, big little shower, the double beds, beautiful. We love to see it, but also you guys, look how pretty this is. Look at all the lights. Isn't this pretty? Like, okay, Tulsa. Have I been sleeping on y'all? Cause this is cute, she's really cute. But what's not cute is exactly what I'm eyeballing right now. You guys, that is not it. Like, we got to up that by about 10 degrees. There we go, beautiful, that is money. Now another thing that we have to talk about is I bought new in-flight shoes. My old ones, like the memory foam was just like flat as can be, there was like no support, they were just, they weren't doing it anymore. So I bought these naturalizers and they had really good reviews and they have like, um, like a memory foam in them but they also just like conform to your feet. And look at the back of this. I didn't have to break these in at all. I've never worn these before. No blisters, no pain, nothing. These are probably the most comfortable shoes ever and i just got my my normal size they're a little tight i almost thought like maybe go a half size bigger but then i was just like no because like when you're walking up and down the aisles you don't want to like lose a shoe so they were perfect these are literally perfect i did like the amazon like try before you buy beautiful love them so i will link these down below if anybody needs like some good in-fly shoes but anyways my makeup has outlived its pride it really just needs to come off my face it's very, very crusty right now i don't even want to talk about it look at this fridge look how spacious this is a win like okay Tulsa you're really coming out swinging I hope my ice pack will freeze in here but this is super cute so while I take my makeup off I figure we can chat really fast so on the way over here I actually was able to pick up a London so I'm going back to London tomorrow like I said super super late at night so actually into the next day we're gonna get in at like 12 15 back into dallas well that same day later on at like 3 30 or so is when i'm gonna go to london so i'm gonna come back to dallas i'll have like i think that's like 13 hours i may try to trade it for the next day if possible but if not that's what we're gonna be doing, so I'm so excited. The fact that I've gotten like two internationals in like two weeks, wild. I'm not doing a very good job taking this off. The plan for tomorrow is the entire crew of flight attendants are all gonna hang out, which I'm so excited about. It's been a minute since I've gotten to do that. So the food just got here. It was from a place called Poncho's. I got some chicken nachos, and then I got a tostada just in case. <laughs> just in case this was not gonna be good, but it looks really good so that was actually super good for late night food like i'm not mad at that at all it was a ton though and i'm like so full so i'm going to brush my teeth and crawl into bed and i will see you guys early in the morning when we get to go explore tulsa <laughs> Guys, 
I slept like a log. I slept so good that I woke up twice and I was like, where am I? <laughs> like, what time is it? Like that sort of sleep. And then I look and I was like, okay, you're still good. And I go back to sleep. But anyways, I've been getting ready because it's almost 10 o'clock. So we are gonna head to the coffee shop to meet up with the rest of the crew and then I'll go out together and explore Tulsa. So I left the hotel room to meet up with the crew at a local coffee shop and it had such a cool aesthetic inside. They didn't have any scale milk, but I got an oat milk latte and it was so good. It tasted like a toasted marshmallow. Before we all went over to Hertz Donut Company, I had heard amazing things and I was not disappointed. The decor inside was really funky. The customer service was amazing and they just had a wide array of donuts to choose from. So we all picked out our favorite donuts or what looked the best to us. And I ended up getting this donut. It's like a blueberry muffin donut. I'm not exactly sure what it was, but it was so good. Mm. And I took one more bite before finally calling it a day and heading off and just saved the rest for later. So then we ended up taking an Uber over to the gathering place to finally check out what everybody's talking about. So we are now at the gathering place and it is beautiful and the weather could not be more perfect. I'm telling y'all, Tulsa really came out and said, London who? <laughs> like it is beautifully stunning here. You can't ask for better weather. So now we're gonna go in and kind of see everything. But a lot of people said like, this is like the gem of Tulsa. Like it's really beautiful and I see why. So we started walking around and it was so stunning. There are so many different playgrounds and themed water parks for kids to play. Like I didn't even record most of it. And then we kept walking and we stumbled into this place that has kayaks and paddle boats. We weren't sure how much it was gonna cost, but we got in line anyways. And then some locals told us that it's actually completely free. So they take you into the back room to get fitted for your life vest and get you all set. We decided <laughs> with Manny and we are gonna do a paddle boat. I told him I'm not gonna be paddling at all. So we're only gonna go in one direction. <laughs> we're only gonna go to the left while I film. So um, the girls are doing a kayak. So we're gonna see who really like gets out far. We got about like 45 minutes to an hour before we gotta get back for work. But I'm telling you guys, Tulsa really said London who. London, <laughs> London who. <laughs> right now we are stuck just paddling away. <laughs> We just, oh my God. We're, okay, here we go. Okay. Hold on, we're going to the left. <laughs> I don't even know how to control it. I think I get that. Wait. Oh, but okay, so this is our steering wheel. Why are we turning? Why are we turning? Why are we turning? Why are we turning? Um, no. <laughs> well, we've come to a complete stop. <laughs> Why is it hard? <laughs> Literally going I'm in circles you, okay. like you said. I think it has something to do with the stick shift. Our work. stick shift is broken. Look at I'm this. crying. We're, we're going in a circle again. We're going Okay, so we are back. That was so much fun, you guys. Like, my lines are so creased. Like, I was like crying, laughing. Like, if you are in Tulsa, you have to go to the gathering place. It was so beautiful. And I can't believe like everything there was free. Like, there's so many different parks and stuff. I didn't really want to record a bunch of kids, so I didn't want to show y'all too much. So, I didn't even touch like half of it. Plus, we didn't even make it through most of the park. It is massive. There's so much to do there. Honestly, if I came back, I would love to do like a picnic out out there. I had like the best layover, the best crew. Like this was a good one. Today we are going to be working three flights. We are going from Tulsa back to Dallas, Dallas to San Diego, San Diego back to Dallas. So it's going to be a long day. Um, I think once we get back to Dallas, we're going to try to get food really fast. We weren't able to get anything. We just didn't have enough time. We also still have a little bit of our donuts left over. That toilet. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear, but it's just like going off. You know, I, I tell y'all sometimes, like you just have these moments where you're like, I can't believe they actually pay me to do this. Don't get me wrong, like there are times in the airline industry that can be hard, that can be exhausting, that can be just like sometimes really rough. But then you have moments like this where it just all makes sense. Everything comes together and you're like, this is it. This is why I do what I do. This is why I just love it. And today was like one of those days. But anyways, I'm done blabbing. So let's go ahead and start getting everything ready to get out of here. Give me a chance to make it right Just let me touch you like the first time We don't need answers to survive Just let us keep on with the bad guys So while I'm packing everything up, I also forgot to tell you guys. So that London that I said like when we get back in the morning, technically tomorrow, and then I would go out on that London later that day, I was actually able to switch it on our trade board. So now I traded it to a London on the 30th. 
So now I'll we'll have like tomorrow off after we get back in the morning and then the next day off, hopefully I'll just edit this video and then I'll fly out to London. So that worked out like a little bit better because I was like, this is gonna be so rough. And, like trying to, <laughs> trying to unpack for all this, repack, sleep, get ready, all that and be there for sign in. Like that was gonna be a lot, lot. So I'm actually pretty excited we were able to get that moved over. Plus my purser is gonna be the same person I had last time and it's gonna be the same time for London that I did last time. But this time I know what to expect. So this time I kind of can gauge what I have to do in the evening, basically go out straight, all that stuff. And then again in the morning, I, I, I got a better idea of what's going on essentially. So I'm super, super excited about that. And hopefully I'll still be getting some more internationals next month, even maybe something other than London. So that's exciting. Almost packed up, gonna get changed. And I guess we will almost be ready to get on out of here. <laughs> tired and Chip came outside to help me carry my bags. I didn't think anything of it. He does it all the time. And I came and said hi to the dogs and then he was like, <laughs> he just said, happy birthday. And I was like, what are you talking about? He's like, it's the 28th. And I was like, it's not my birthday. And he's like, it's, it's not. And I was like, no, it's not my birthday. And then he said, well, happy birthday. And then points to the counter and this is what's on the counter. It's literally a happy birthday balloon. And like a cake and a card and it's not even my birthday. <laughs> oh my gosh, they got they got even more cake in the fridge, you guys. <laughs> it's literally not even my birthday. Oh my god, that's so funny. I was actually crying. I'm so delusional. I'm gonna think this is a dream tomorrow. But anyways, if you guys did enjoy it, go to give it a big old thumbs up, press that subscribe button, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.